Hello and welcome to the Long Island Pawnee Power Show. Last time I will be be going here because they're eliminating the S90, but we were at the Quag Wildlife Refuge right here. Let's enter over here. Not sure if I remember exactly where to enter. I think we can enter over here. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's take a view of this lake here. This this lake is beautiful. This is what you call old ice pond because they used to harvest ice from here. I will miss coming here. Thank you, Suffolk County Transit, for eliminating the S90. Now I won't be able to come here anymore. But I figured I'll show you one last time. Now normally I do a counterclockwise loop. But this time, today, we're doing a clockwise loop. So we're going to take this trail here. Which will take us along the lake. Some more views of that beautiful lake. Of course, we have some pretty old pitch pines here. Um, so you'll see that too. I'm going to miss coming here. You know. Ooh, look at all the fish here. Look at all these fish. I don't know if you can see them all. So we're following this trail. It goes through the wetlands along the lake. And then, of course, we'll follow it north through a pitch, mature pitch pine forest. And then this skirts the northern edge of the dwarf pine plains. So northern edge, what am I saying? The southern edge. And look, we got some fall foliage all the way down there. So let's, let's check it out. You can see down there, you see that red? There's some fall foliage down there. And what we also have? Some turtles too. Right here. This is a real gem of a preserve here on Long Island that people without a car aren't going to be able to get to anymore. What a shame. We got a dragonfly over here. Let's try and get close to him. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Beautiful day at the beautiful lake. Let's take a look at those turtles one more time. Okay, so we're going to continue on this trail here. It'll take us around the lake. Now, once we round the bend, we're going to enter a pine forest, pure pitch pines. See, we're not at peak yet. The foliage is just starting. Um, it is just starting. Well, here you go. Here's some. It's just starting. It might be a little weaker than usual this year because of the drought. But usually the wet lawn lands always usually put on a good foliage show. Usually. So, but we're not at peak yet, so some of these are just starting to change. All right, as you can see, we are amidst some old pitch pines over here now. Big ones. And now we are starting to enter the pine forest, the pitch pine forest. Oh, here's another view of the lake. There. Now we're in the midst of the pure pitch pine forest here. Well, we got another story of huckleberries, but it's mostly pitch pines over here. To the left, and to the right, is the lake. Now 
And we're going to follow this trail to a bridge. It's going to take us, you know, give us a nice little vista. There's, there's some Atlantic white cedar here as well, so you'll see that. All right, there's the... Now we got, now we've come a little bit west, west, so we've got the pine forest on both sides of us now. It is a rather mild day for October, that is for sure. Yes, nothing but large pitch pines over here. All right, so we're walking toward that bridge now. We're heading back east again. There's not a place you want to come from the peak of summer. The bugs are probably bad, but, you know, now it shouldn't be too bad at all. So I'm trying to remember where that bridge is. I think we're coming up to it. Yes, we are. Good. Amazing I can remember this after not being here for a little while. We got some colors here. You definitely see some of that swamp maple start to change over here in this spot. We have some people too though, so. All right, here we go, we're at the bridge now. Oh yeah, we got some colors, look at this. Here you go. Check this out. There's turtles all over here. Yeah, it's a shame, it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna be able to come here because they're cutting the bus that serves this area. I don't oh, drive. Yes, they're cutting the bus. Look at this other big fish. Isn't that I know, there's a lot of them, right, Mike? It's amazing. That's a snapping one, though, that large one, right? The green one, yeah. I think yeah. So. Oh, he's trying to, I think he might be trying to eat the little one. I don't know. Hopefully not, but they're predators, the snapping ones. We're gonna look, we should look them up online, Michael, and see if we can see something about them. That's a snapping turtle. I think that's a painted turtle over there, or a red slider. Some great colors over there. Look at this little guy here. Somebody fed the turtle, which they shouldn't do. I like cute little guys, aren't they? I've never seen so many turtles before in like one spot. These are all like babies. Wow. This is a very unique, special place here on Long Island. That is the big guy. He's a snapper. You don't want to mess with him. Gorgeous. That's the bridge right there. This place is amazing. All right, so now let's take this trail here. All right. Uh, the foliage. <laughs> I love it. I look forward to it all year long. Anyway, we're going to head north now. Get to some... Pygmy Pines. It's a very varied place. There's so many different kinds of environments here. You have the wetlands, you have the mature pines. But as you'll see, we're going to see some Pygmy Pines too. So let me follow this, and then I've got to take another trail. It's going to take us left, and that'll take us off to the Dwarf Pines. The signage is excellent here, so you just follow this. Follow this north. We're going this way. We're going to the Dwarf Pines. Most people don't go up there, so probably not even going to see anyone else. <laughs> and we'll pass by another lake, of course, called North Pond. So that will be nice. What a delightful day it is turning out to be. Ah, it's wonderful. It's so nice to see the sun. We've had so much gloomy weather. And I know I haven't done many of the Long Island. I haven't done many Piney Power shows. It's just because the weather has been 
bad a lot and I have been every time I do go on a hike I don't really feel like taking a whole video and just kind of just hiking instead but I figured because this is going to be probably my last time coming here oh, a deer. he's going to run away there's a deer right there he's looking at me See, it's a she, it's a female. No antlers. There she goes. Now, one thing you'll also see in abundance here, like in many other Pine Barrens environments, is tea berry. All right, so we follow the signs here. Dwarf Pines and North Pond. That would take us back if we went that way, so. Now we're gonna pass by North Pond, which looks kinda dry. No surprise, because of the drought. Actually, it is really dry. Oh my gosh. Well, what happened to the ponds? Oh my god, it's gone. Look at that. Oh, that's a, that's a great blue heron that just flew over there. Oh, yeah, this pond is completely dried up. Wow. All right, check this out. This lake is dry. I'm walking in the middle of it. You can see it's dry down there. I have the camera set on a manual exposure, but uh, take a look at these these colors here. Got some amazing fall foliage coming through over here. All right, so we continue on. That was spectacular, even though the lake was dried up. I don't know what kind of bird that is. It looks like some kind of shore bird or something. I'll have to put the name of it in a video, but uh, even though the lake's dried up, there's still plenty of life there. All right, so here we make a right. It'll take us over to the dwarf pines. Can't believe I have a little over an hour left here. <laughs> Just the main trail goes this way. Wharf Pines, this way, so that's the way we're going. So as we head north into the Dwarf Pines, it's going to start looking a little more desert-like. Uh, you know, you're already starting to see things open up a bit. One thing you notice as we've gotten away from the main lake, where did everybody go? <laughs> How many people want to walk up this way? It's going to get real piney now. <laughs> you can see already. Alright, so we're heading into the Dwarf Pines. We should be there momentarily. You're going to see the pines get shorter and shorter as we go over there. This is actually one of the best examples of a contrast between regular pine barrens and the dwarf pine barrens. It's actually pretty easy to see the contrast once we get there. So, you see the pine starting to get a little shorter already. You can see, once we get up over that hill there, I think that's the spot. You'll see the stark contrast between the full-size pines and the dwarf pines. See, they're already starting to get shorter.
see, see how it's transitioning. And now the pines are a lot shorter. These are dwarf pines. Uh, actually, the trail goes this way. Let's follow this trail all around. And you'll see how the pines have gotten much shorter now. The trail goes this way. You can see here, I'm not going to take it the whole way. Um, but you can see how the environment has changed. So, I want to go this way. So, not that way, I want to go this way. Because that trail gets a little dim. Narrow, I don't know. Go on that. As you can see here, <laughs> these are all short, fairly short pines. And if you look that way, you can really see that most of them are, some of them may be 10 feet, but the large majority of them are about eight feet tops. That's it. And these are dwarf pines. You can see the difference. You can see that these trees are actually very old. They could be a hundred years or older, even though they don't look it, but they are. You can see they have a lot of cones, a lot of serotonous cones on that one in particular. Now one thing you'll also see here is lots and lots of bearberry. That's this, this low growing shrub right here. Now this does not grow in New Jersey. Uh, for some reason it, all, it does not grow there. And that's because it's hotter in New Jersey. It's not your imagination that it's hotter in New Jersey, because it sure is. And we are right by West Hampton Airport, so you're going to hear, there's a jet taking off. You're going to hear that. The runway is actually right over that way. And then just look at this scene right here. Isn't this amazing? Nothing but great shapes. All right, so we're going to start heading now. Before we go that way, I'll just show you there's some reindeer lichen here. Lots of reindeer lichen around. You start seeing that once you get into a drier area. You start seeing the reindeer lichen. Hey, look at this. <laughs> now that is just beautiful. All right, so we skirted the southern edge of the pine plains. And there's another trail there, but there's a fence. I'm not going to be taking that trail now. If, if we went all the way down to the end, actually there are some people all the way down there that are walking all the way down there. We're not going to do that because we don't have time. Uh, we're going to go this way. Go south back into the more mature pitch pine forest. Alright. Alright, so we continue on this now. Oh my. Look at this mushroom. Oh my. Look at this mushroom. That's a huge mushroom right there. And there's another one. There's two more actually right here. Very unusual shape of this mushroom. Now, there's a lake here. It's probably dried up. I'll be shocked if it's not dried up. Oh, it's dried up. There's nothing to see here. The lake's dried up. <laughs> what a shame. That's no surprise. That's the drought. Yeah, some big pines in that other area right there. See, look at this. Notice something that doesn't belong here? There's a white pine there. Isn't that interesting? That had to be planted. And this, there was probably something here. Some man-made thing probably here. Uh, that's the, when you see that, or a catalpa, it usually means that there's some kind of man-made thing. That was here at one time. Maybe a little old fishing lodge or something. Here's a few more white pines. All right, so now we turn this way. So that sign says I gotta go this way, not this way, which is weird. It seems a little out of the way. Wouldn't it, seem, wouldn't it make more sense just to go straight? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go straight. Yeah, I'm gonna take this trail. What is this guy doing? All right, I... Yes, he hopefully has permission to be riding down there. All right, well, assume he does. Let's take this trail. Let's see where this goes. 
because the other trail kind of goes back that way so i'd rather just go follow this and see where it winds up this leads me into the other trail i think this was the trail we were on before right yeah all right so take this back And then we should be back at like the main area in a little bit. This looks familiar. I think we passed through this here already. On the way we were when we were walking up this way, we were walking in the other direction. So we were walking up. Now we're walking back. Yeah, we definitely passed this spot. This is where we saw the deer. Okay, so that was the bridge that we crossed. If we went that way, we'd be back at the bridge. We're going this way. Okay, we're gonna go in here actually. I have some, ooh, look at this scenery here. Oh yeah, lots of great shapes. Swirls. Cute. Look at these shapes. Oh, guess what we also have? Prickly pear cactus. Look at that. There you go, prickly pear cactus. We see this a lot in New Jersey, but Long Island also has it as well. We do have a native cactus here on Long Island. <laughs> there you go. Now, if we were here in the spring, you'd see those beautiful, well, not spring so much, but if we were here in June, you'd see those beautiful yellow flowers. Yeah, they're kind of withering now that the fall is here. <sighs> but look at this scene. I don't know what bird that is calling. pine seedling there. So cool to see prickly pear. I didn't notice this the last time. Wow, that's neat. Let's look at this vista. Gorgeous. Here's a little viewpoint here. Look at that. What a shame, people without cars will not be able to get here. Yeah, this is such a nice spot. You have prickly pear cactus all over the place. There, there's also some here. Here, you can see. It's everywhere. Wow, that's great, that's awesome. All right, let's head, let's head back. We're not all the way back yet. <laughs> This is the one place on Long Island that's most similar to Jake's Branch Park in New Jersey. Uh, and the fact they've got an active nature center, and well, I'll show you that, I guess. Should. And I'm walking backwards. Technically, most people are going to be walking this way, but I'll show you some of the things along the way here. A lot of this is for kids, I guess. You know, but. this well beehives they have beehives here all right we don't want to walk over there but those are actually beehives work I guess yes take a look I'll zoom in there are actually beehives there where they harvest honey that's cool closely you can see all the bees flying around there yeah do not go near that <laughs> that's cool though but yeah I'm guessing they uh, harvest the honey for that Yeah, this is a little open area they have. Let's take another look at the lake. Go this way. If we can get a view of the lake, it looks like it's kind of closed in over here. Can't really see too much. Sort of look to the south. the nature center building kind of going into the sun at this moment so a little too much glare let's go over to that next see here's the map I have a nice little map here I 
And we probably walked close to three miles on that red trail. Um, probably close to three miles. Actually, check this area out. We have some time, so I want to walk around here and see what I can see over here. They rescue a lot of wildlife here. Um, so they do a lot of, you know, rescues and things. Uh, nothing really to see over here, I think. Oh, what's this? Here we go. Deer enclosure? Let's check this out. What is this? I don't know if we can go in here. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, we can go in. Well, this could be like a, a butterfly garden or something. Well, mason bees. Oh, they've got a butterfly garden in here. I don't know if we're going to see any butterflies. Take a look at these flowers. Not sure what kind of flowers these are. I didn't know they had a butterfly garden here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, man, be a pain. I'm not gonna be able to come here. Yeah, this is really nice. There's some more in here. Oh, this is some of the animals they rescue. Hang on. Let's go in here. Let's check this out. With time, I actually never seen this before. Check this out. Oh, it's a bald eagle. Oh, it's my first time seeing one in person. That's the symbol of our great nation right there. Yep, that's the symbol of our nation right there. Beautiful, isn't he? Or she? There's some ospreys over there. Wow. It's the first time I've ever seen a bald eagle. Up close, anyway. Let's let's give him some peace. Let's go back over here. I had no idea that this 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 whole garden existed here. Now, of course, if it was the summer, we probably see a lot of butterflies here. But it's not the summer, so we're not. We can actually go in here. Maybe there'll be some in here. I don't know if we're allowed to go in here or not. I don't think so. Ooh, it's hot in here. Those actually might be tortoises. That's why it's hot in here. It's got to be hot for them. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. There's some real treasures here on Long Island. What can I tell you? Wow. Now, if it was the summer, we'd see a lot of butterflies here, but... It, Unfortunately, it is early October, so we're probably not going to see any. Oh, this is very, very nice. I don't ever remember this being here. Very cool. You got these beautiful flowers, too. I don't know what kind of flowers those are. Check this nature center out here. This is one of the few nature centers we have here on Long Island. So let's check this out. I don't know which way do I go. I think I go this way, do I go that way? Let's go in here. We have some snakes on display, let's see. 
one snake, the, the ball python. That's not native. If they've got a pine snake, Eastern box turtle. Some of these are not native leopard gecko. King snake. Chilean rose hair tarantula. I don't see him in there. He's probably hiding. These aren't native. I like, that, like a library in here too. That's neat. They got a library. Look, they even have a view from inside. Check this out. <laughs> That's a puffer. Look at the view from here. Wow, I didn't know they had a view from inside. Look at this. Oh, incredible. This is amazing. I've never been in here before. What a spectacular view. See, they used to harvest ice here. They used to harvest ice. Here's their newsletter. Some more diagrams and maps and things. Look at this butterfly collection. There you go. Wow. That is awesome. I was never in there before. That is an awesome nature center, I have to say. In some ways, in quite a few ways, it's actually nicer than Jake's Branch. Yes. One more view of the lake here. So, I guess we'll ramp up this Long Island Piney Power. So, hope you enjoyed it, man. I have sure, sure have. It's a shame it's going to be a lot harder to come here now with the cuts from the buses, but... I'll find a way. I will find a way. So, as that plane sails off into the wild blue yonder, we wrap up this Piney Power Show. So, I want to thank you for watching. I really enjoy, enjoyed taking another one of these videos again for you, and hopefully many more to come. And hopefully we'll be back here too. So thank you for watching and remember what it's all about. You know what it's all about. 
It's all about those great shapes.